we are going to continue with our uh, line balancing uh, topic. Today we are going to review the steps for balancing the assembly line. As uh, we saw in the last video, we need to identify a master list, a list of tasks and or operations. Then we need to estimate the sequence considering the constraints such as a sequence of completion of operations, technological as to what operation must be performed in the same station or on the contrary cannot be performed in the same station, uh, the number of workers required per operation. Then we need to draw the precedence diagram. We have to calculate task times and cycle time. We also need to calculate the number of workstations, then assign the task, calculate effectiveness or efficiency, and estimate the delay in the balance. When can we have a problem? We can uh, have a problem when the cycle is greater than the standard times, and we can uh, do the balancing uh, line by division of labor or concentration of labor. And if the cycle is lower than the standard times, then we can uh, also have division of labor or concentration of labor. And we also have mixed problems where in uh, some tasks the cycle is greater than the time of the task and at some times the cycle is uh, lower than the uh, time of a task. Let's uh, review an example with the, when the cycle is greater than the standard times and we are going to uh, solve it by division of labor. And we are taking the same example that we've been working with, where, where we have uh, 10 tasks and uh, the time for the tasks. The total time for, for all the operation is 274 seconds. If we uh, analyze the problem with 10 workstation and considering that we have a cycle time of 60 seconds per unit, we can calculate the efficiency for uh, this uh, line balancing of 45.67% uh, 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 with a delay of balance of 54.33%. Uh, So these results uh, are not uh, as good as we as we wanted. So we need to look for combinations of workstations that are up up to C or less. Uh, C being the time of the cycle. So if the time of the cycle is uh, 60 seconds, we need to group tasks uh, into workstations where their uh, sum of times is less than uh, C and we can have six workstations uh, shown in the diagram and then the efficiency will go up to 76.11% uh, with a delay of balance of 23.89 Now we are going to uh, concentrate the workload. The example that we just reviewed is uh, the example for division of labor. If we are going to concentrate uh, the workload, this means we are going to have only one workstation. Uh, this will mean that uh, all the 10 tasks will be performed in a, a workstation. Now, as all the works uh, are going to be done in, a, in the same workstation, we need to find out how many posts of uh, these uh, workstations we are going to have. And we are going to uh, find the, the number of posts uh, dividing the total time by the cycle time. This means that we need to have five posts and in e each of these posts we are going to perform the 10 tasks. 
with uh, this uh, concentration of label we will have 91.33 percent of efficiency with a delay of efficiency of 8.667 we will have one workstation with five work posts in each of them will perform 10 operations now this uh, was the example when the cycle time is greater than the time of each uh, task. Now we are going to analyze the case where the time cycle is lesser than the standard times. In this case the sequence of operation does not in interfere with the solution of the problem and the technological constraints but be taken into account. We have uh, this uh, seven uh, Uh, excuse me, these eight tasks in this uh, workflow, uh, the times are shown in, in, in black, and we have some production requirements. We need uh, 1,000 units per turn, and in each turn we have uh, 480 minutes. So the cycle time will be 0.48 minutes per unit. If we analyze each of these uh, times, uh, of these uh, task times, each of the task times is greater than the cycle time. So the cycle time is less than the uh, time for every task. So what can we do in this case? This is the, the, the main solution, but we're going to uh, Excel to calculate the, the solution for this problem. So let me end here the, the slide presentation. and. We have this problem right here. We have eight tasks with these precedences and these operation times. We have a cycle time of 0.48. We need to define a theoretical number of posts for each task. And for this, we are going to divide the task time, TI, divided by the uh, cycle time the task time divided by the cycle time this means that for task number one we need 1.708 uh, posts for task one to uh, perform the same task according to the cycle time so we do the, the same for the rest of the tasks. And this will be the theoretical number of posts for each time, considering that we only have 0.48 uh, uh, seconds of uh, cycle time. But we can have 1.7, 2.29, 3.5 posts. So we need a real uh, number of posts and we need to round the theoretical number of uh, posts So if it's 1.7, the real uh, number of posts will be 2. And we do the same for all the rest of the tasks. So for task number 2, we need 3 posts. For task number 3, we need uh, 4. And we do the same for the rest of the tasks. Then we need to calculate the assignated time per op operation. and to do this, we need uh, to multiply the real number of posts times the uh, cycle time to have uh, how much time we need uh, we have to perform each task. So we multiply the real number of posts that we will have times the cycle time. And we do the same for all the tasks. A 
that we have the operation time for all the uh, tasks then we need to define the individual cycle time per, per task and we are going to divide the real time that we have for each task by the real number of posts and we do it for the rest of the tasks this is the individual cycle time per task according to the real number of uh, posts that we have then we are going to assign time per minimum cycle and for this we need to multiply the real number of posts for each task by the minimum cycle time to uh, search for the efficiency of the process we need to consider the minimum indi individual cycle and then we do it for the rest of the tasks now we are going to do some efficiency calculations to estimate the line efficiency and the balance uh, uh, line uh, delay and this is just uh, some uh, multiply operations first of the time for each task times the number of uh, operators of the number of workers that we have in each task or operation Now we'll do it for the assignated time per cycle and the number of workers excuse me I think I, I made a, a mistake right here this is the assignated time per operation times the number of workers and this is considering the less, cy the less uh, cycle time the assignated time per minimum cycle times the number of workers and we just have solved our balancing problem we are going to have an efficiency of 91 percent with a balance delay of nine percent what we uh, do is reorganize the problem into uh, the number of posts that we need and uh, the cycle time assignated so this is the, the example where we have division of work and uh, a C that is uh, lesser than the operations times but we also have the example where we have or we have the need to solve this problem considering work concentration and in, th in this example what we do is it's the same operations but we need to consider some uh, constraints about 
which operations we are going to group. So we define that operations 1, 2, and 3 will be done in the same workstation, the same with operations 4 and 6. We add the operations time of each of these workstations and for the number of operator, operators we take the greater amount of operators for each of these tasks. For example, we, we group operations 1, 2, and 3 and in operations 1, 2, and 3 we have one uh, operator, one worker so the maximum number of workers is one. For operations four and six, we notice that we have two operators in each task. So when we group them, we take the maximum number of workers. This means that we are not going to have four, we are going to have only two. In this case, we are not going to have three, we are only having one. So this uh, also uh, works in favor of the uh, efficiency of the uh, balancing of the line. The operations are the same and we notice that we have an efficiency of 94% and a balance delay of 6%. So this is the case of uh, cycle time lesser than standard times with work concentration and the last part is uh, are the mixed problems where we have for example a cycle time of 0.45 and we have some tasks that are lesser than the cycle time and other tasks that are greater than the uh, cycle time. The mixed problems need to uh, take into account the uh, concentration of work part. So this is, this is a problem that you need to solve by yourself.